Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be talking about the, the Miss Universe pageant. I know, kind of strange, but uh, the, the reason that this has been in the news and people have been talking about it is because this, this year they had two trans women as well as the first plus size person that was in the Miss Universe pageant. So the plus size person, that's what we're gonna be talking about today, is from Nepal. So it's Miss Nepal, and this is her right here. Um, and so she was featured in the pageant, the show, I don't really know exactly what to call it. Uh, but we are going to be talking about Tess Holiday's kind of reaction to it. So Tess Holiday posted this video of her. Basically, it's just her reacting, right, to the video of her at the you know, at the Miss Universe thing, kind of clapping her hands or whatever, saying, you know, first plus size Miss Universe contestant, Miss Nepal, Jane Dipika Garrett. I probably said that wrong. Um, but, you know, her just giving her congratulations for that. And I don't, like, you guys know how I feel. I, I think there are some people that are like, oh, this is promoting obesity. The way I feel, I think that this is a good thing. I think that this is cool to see. Um, I don't, I personally don't, <laughs> don't have an issue with it, but, but that's just me. Everyone is different and I'm sure um, certain people will not be super happy about it. But um, there was uh, another video from Tess where she is actually responding to a comment that was left on her original TikTok. So it says, I don't get it. Um, where is she plus size? She looks normal size to me and absolutely beautiful, right? So basically it's saying, I don't think this person is plus size and the, <laughs> uh, you know, how people feel about that. And so let's kind of let Tess Holiday uh, share her thoughts. I, I, I will say I was pleasantly surprised with the response to this, if I'm being completely honest. I had to actually pull over and answer this right now because there's so much discourse in my comments about whether or not Mr. Paul is plus size. So let's get into it. It depends on who you ask in the industry, but as someone that has 14 years of experience in the industry as a plus size model and someone in a larger body for most of her career, uh, plus size starts at 12. If you want to ask people who are Delulu, they might tell you a size eight or a 10, um, but then you're getting into what's considered a midsize, um, but plus size. So that's that's really interesting. So it's like these, these very specific dif differentiating kind of things of what makes you plus size versus what makes you midsize versus what makes you a regular size. And then maybe like, I don't know, it, it reminds me of those uh, <laughs> those charts that we used to go go over a few years ago where people would call themselves like super fat or infinite fat and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just... I, maybe this is just because I'm a, a guy and like the min sizes aren't the numbers like that But it's interesting that like these these kind of arbitrary numbers are so set in stone Because I don't know this is someone that is outside obviously of uh, female sizing I don't have to deal with it myself. I don't wear female clothing But like one thing that I talk about with like, you know I, I hear my girlfriend talk about it and just other women is that like a size 12 somewhere is completely different from a size 12 somewhere else. So it's 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 interesting that, that it seems like it's kind of an arbitrary number. Um, I feel like it's pretty obvious, like if you saw, you know, Miss Nepal, the size that she is versus probably almost everyone else that was competing, she was larger than them, so plus size, I guess it's like people are like, no, plus size has to be this large, right? But I, I don't know, I just feel like that's so... I don't know. It seems kind of strange to me that it has to have this arbitrary, very specific, like, this is plus size, this is midsize. You can't be, you know, I don't know. It really is a size US 12. Now, is Miss Nepal plus size? I don't know. I was just going by all of the articles that were calling her plus size. But regardless, I think I feel like that is a normal way to do it, right? Like, I think that getting caught up in the semantics is just unnecessary when it comes to this situation, right? This is this is a big deal for a lot of people, and I think rightfully so. I understand that it's a big deal, and I think if people want to celebrate it, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to be one of those party poopers that are like, well, it's not even that big of a deal. Why are you making a big deal? Blah, blah, blah. I think I, I can understand that there are plenty of women, maybe even young girls, that would, that would watch the Miss Universe pageant, um, and you know, seeing someone that is you know not super thin might make them feel a little bit better about themselves. I feel like that is a good thing. I personally am not one of those people that think it's it's a terrible thing. And so I think getting caught up in the semantics is just, I don't know, it just seems kind of pointless in my opinion. 
I don't think that it's good to be one of those people that kind of picks apart whether or not she is actually plus size and trying to pick apart her size. I agree. I understand the frustration as folks that might be in larger bodies see someone that is smaller or curvy and think, well, she's not plus size. She doesn't represent me. I understand that. I definitely used to be one of those people very early in my career. And I love that. You love to see it. Some character growth, like uh, realizing that maybe I was a little overbearing or maybe I was a little, um, you know, j too legalistic at the beginning. And I was like, you know, this person's not as basically as fat as I am. So therefore they can't represent me. I think that taking small steps is the way that you get more and more people on board with whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like, I think it would be, this is my opinion, but I think it would be silly to go from how the Miss Universe people have looked for decades now and then just trying to throw someone in there that's like very very large right that's like 350 pounds or something like that right like that would not even that I'm like oh it's wrong but I feel like the woman that would be in that position would get so much hate and and people just upset at them that it wouldn't be fair to them and like putting them in that position would just be wrong in my, in my opinion. Right. And so I think that going about this, this way, slowly kind of, um, you know, introducing it and getting it to be more normal. I don't think that that's a terrible thing again. And I'm sorry, I'm talking fast. It's obviously something I'm very passionate about. Um, but I just don't think that we should pick apart exactly what size she is because plus size curvy, whatever it was definitely, uh, the first time that we were seeing someone with a curvier body type like that on the stage for Miss Universe and also shout out. It's it's interesting because I feel like it's you, there's a lot of people that I remember like, like I was talking about earlier a few years ago when people were so like they were like you have to use the right term for the size that someone is right they have are they mid-size are they are they fat are they super fat are they infinite fat are they this are they that and I I said when I first saw that that it felt unnecessary right like intentionally trying to segregate yourself and like make these arbitrary groups just to, for what, right? Basically it was to be like the people that are at the top of the list, right? The Infinifats, they are the most oppressed. And so they're allowed to like, what they say matters the most, right? And then there's the super fat and then there's the fat and then there's the mid fat. They have a lot less say than what the infinite. It just doesn't, it's just unnecessary, right? It's just like unnecessary in my opinion. I feel like this is when we, we when I talk about this stuff, like the vast majority of the public it hears stuff like that and they're like that is insane psycho like no one thinks like that right it's just when you get way too engulfed in these kind of things where it becomes your whole personality and everything about you where you just get way too sucked in to where any quote unquote like normal person that isn't spending their entire day thinking about this stuff they're going to hear what you're saying and they're just going to be like what? that is ridiculous right and so I, I am glad that it seems that Tess sees that herself and she's kind of, I don't want to say course corrected, but she's changed her mind, right? And changed her way. She said it herself. I feel like that's a good thing because most people, when they hear people do stuff like that, it's just like they just lose interest. They're like, okay, clearly we don't have anything in common, right? And so I feel like that is a good thing. To the two contestants that were trans as well i think that that is absolutely iconic and it's nice to see that things are shifting a little bit hopefully so i hope that clears it up and let me know if you guys have any more questions <laughs> let's just be happy for her okay this whole thing is just very interesting because i i i am curious and i would wonder what it's what the experience has been like for the woman who was who is miss nepal right like you're, I'm, I, I'm sure she's dealt with detractors that are not a fan of having any plus size person in the Miss uh, Universe pageant, right? And so I'm sure she's dealt with the backlash from that. But then to get backlash from the the real, quote unquote, real plus size community saying, oh, you're not plus size. You're not allowed to say that you're plus size. We don't even, like, we don't claim you. That's got to be really interesting, right? Like literally both sides are fighting over whether or not you're allowed to exist in the the position that you're in right now. 
Um, I don't know. I just thought that it was fascinating. It was really, really, really interesting to see Tess's response to it because I think in the past it would have been a, a lot more antagonistic and been like, you know, why are people saying like this, this is a plus size, this is plus size. I could see a post from her, right? Like literally like walking down a runway trying to like insinuate like this is really plus size in a video of her like walking down the runway, right? But it seems that she's it seems like she's taken a more realistic approach, which I do think is a good thing. If like, that's really what you want to do, if you really want to make this, you know, something that happens, right? Having plus size more featured, having not even plus size. I don't even want to use that term, right? Just having bigger bodies, more featured. I think this is the route you take. You don't just go from having people that are stick thin to being like, all right, let's throw a 350 pound person in there. That's not fair to the person that's getting thrown in, in my opinion. That's how I feel. Um, but I'm genuinely curious of what you think down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you share it with a friend. It does help out a ton in the algorithm. Apparently that's like the biggest thing now. Uh, but just for watching, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Peace.